Hello friends and welcome to Escaping the Mouse with your host, me, Breck Rowell. Alright, I got up this morning and I wasn't really sure what I wanted to do. Uh, and then I started looking at some tortilla shells that I purchased uh, recently. You may recall that a couple months ago I went to Costco and bought a whole lot of meat for the freezer. Now, among the stuff that was in that meat was a uh, prepackaged uh, some prepackaged fajita meat. You know, it's already got, it's already sliced up. It's already got all the spices on it. All you got to do is thaw it, cook it, and it's ready to go. Now, I've been thinking about that a lot for the last couple days. And in fact, a couple days ago, I actually went over to the store and bought some uh, flour tortillas because uh, I figured, okay, yeah, we'll cook them up and we'll get some, get all the other stuff you need for fajitas, and we'll make fajitas at some point. And I was figuring I'd do it this weekend. But I never really got around to it. And like I said, I was looking at those tortilla shells this morning and decided, you know what? I'm going to do a little bit of an improvisation uh, bites and nibbles segment. Basically, what I'm going to do is I'm going to fry up a little uh, pork sausage, a little ham, and a little cheese and some eggs. And we're going to make a breakfast burrito out of that. So uh, that's what we're going to do today. Let's get going. Now, if you do remember the Costco episode, you remember that I also bought uh, several different types of sausage. And so I figured, well, okay, we're gonna pull the meat out of the sausage and we're gonna fry that up and we're gonna mix that all in. I also have a little bit of uh, ham that I have in the refrigerator that I use sometimes on omelets. Uh, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna throw the sausage and the ham on and let's start that cooking and then we'll throw the eggs in uh, once, once the meat is all ready because the eggs, the eggs will get ready a lot faster than the meat will. Now the first thing I did was actually I took the ham and kind of cut it up into little bite-sized chunks because uh, you know that's going to be better and that'll cook easier and it'll also be a little easier to eat than something that's like the size of you know an orange. All right, so I put my fry pan on the uh, stove at a high heat just to start up with, uh, and now I'm going to just kind of uh, push all the meat onto the into the into the plate here or into the fry pan. want to kind of break the uh, the sausage meat up a little bit because I ultimately want it to kind of cook up a little bit like uh, like ground beef would. Basically just want to get everything nice and cooked here. Before we throw the eggs in. starting to get there. The sausage meat, uh, basically what you want to do is get the sausage meat so it doesn't look pink anymore. And we're definitely getting there. And I think we're about ready. So let's throw in our eggs. And 
And then we're just going to kind of do like we're doing scrambled eggs here. I think we're pretty much good there. It's okay to let the eggs be a little bit on the runny side because they will continue to cook even after uh, after they're removed from the heat. And then what I've done, and I'm just gonna kind of scoop a little bit into the shell here. It's a little hot on the, on the pot, so I don't wanna handle it too much. Probably could use a bigger spoon than this. Yeah, better tool here for the job. Don't probably need a whole bunch more than that. And of course, I'm gonna doctor it up a little bit with some Tabasco sauce because what tastes better on eggs than, than Tabasco sauce, right? A little bit of cheese. And we are ready to go. Shells are a little bit too small for that, but that happens sometimes. It's just as edible. I'll just kind of have to hold it together. All right, so let's give this a taste test. Should be all right, because, uh, you know, it's all the stuff that you'd want to have in a breakfast burrito. Got to get a little deeper into it because the first part of it is just kind of cheese, but uh, I did get a little bit of the sausage and that tasted pretty good and I can definitely taste the, the uh, Tabasco sauce, so obviously that's going to be pretty good. Yeah, really good. I'm glad I did this. I'll have to keep this in mind because this was actually relatively easy to do. Now, like I said, it was kind of a last minute thing, so I had to actually go hunt the, uh, the sausage out of the freezer. And since it was in deep freeze, I actually put it in the microwave for a couple minutes just to kind of thaw it up so that I could uh, slice open the skin and get all the meat out of it from the inside. But beyond that, you know, if I had this thing, uh, if I had the, uh, the sausage in the fridge and ready to go and already thawed, then it would have been a lot quicker. One thing I would do is I would go bigger uh, tortilla. These, uh, these tortilla shells are about 12 inches in diameter and it makes it makes it a little hard to wrap it around something like this because you know you want to get a fair amount of meat in there a fair amount of food in there and uh, eggs and all that and uh, you just don't get much of an option to do that when you're um, dealing with such a small shell but they got like 14 inch uh, tortilla shells uh, but I couldn't find those this time so I had to go with these 12 inch ones and it was a big difference but other than that this was a good thing I'd do this again I'd highly recommend this uh, and you can kind of mix it up if you got a pico de gallo sauce and that would be good in there uh, tomatoes uh, cilantro you know this is there there is no hard to set recipe you know just gotta kind of put in there what you like in there some people might like black olives that's cool onions tomatoes 
you know, jalapeno peppers. I actually thought about doing that, but I said, no, I'll probably get uh, what I need from the uh, Tabasco sauce. But yeah, this is a good one. Uh, highly recommend it. And uh, I'm going to continue eating it. So uh, I think that's all that I have for today. Thank you as always for watching. And I will see you next time on Escaping the Mouse. Bon Appetit.